prison interview. G'day, I'm Rowan Black, plumber by day and YouTuber by hobby forward slash side hopeful income one day. So I've been a plumber my whole entire working life since I left school at 15 years old. So that means this will be my 11th year as a career plumber and YouTube full driving and fishing has been a significant part of my life for the last two years now. I've always fished since I was a young boy. It was just always a hobby, something you do as a poor kid growing up when you can't afford a motorbike. So got into fishing young and then it's just stuck with me. And then yeah, over the last two years, I've picked it up into what it is today on YouTube and turning into something good. The reason I do what I do is basically it's the one thing that stayed uh, consistent through my life. So through my life, I've had a lot of hobbies had a lot of good things and bad things come and go. But no matter what's varied throughout my life, the one thing that's always stuck with me is my love for fishing and the outdoors. So yeah, pretty much wherever life takes me, I think this is always gonna be something I do and it's just been the thing that I can always rely on to find happiness with. I travel alone for the most part and that's where I find the most peace. It's calming. I don't have to deal with the real world, it's my little time to break away from society and just be myself. What motivates me is looking back on my childhood and having the life that I had growing up and I use that as a motivator to pursue bigger things and better things in life, especially if I go down the path of being a father. I don't have children and I don't think I'm ready to have them but if I ever am I want to make sure they have a better life growing up than I did. So I use that as a heavy amount of motivation to make sure I pursue good and big things and be a good person. And who inspires me is actually the people around me. So in my circle, all the people I have in my life, they inspire me every single day, right down to the bloke behind the camera right now, filming this video, Levi from Bush Rats. He's an inspiration. I pick little things out of the people that I love and if they are good people, they'll stay in my circle and they keep me driven and it's just, yeah, it's healthy competition and super motivating to have people like that in my life. So I was born in Albany, Western Australia. I'm 26 years old and I hadn't actually gone any further than Perth for the first 18 years of my life. So that 400 kilometre distance there is as far as I'd ever stretched in 18 years. When I was 18, I got my first plane ticket to Bali. I showed over to Bali, fell in love with that, went over there a few times, but that's pretty well Western Australia for anyone who knows the difference between the two. And then from there, I ended up moving to New South Wales for a couple of years as a plumber. Had a great time over there catching uh, yellow belly, golden perch and the Murray cod on the river systems there living inland. That was awesome. I've since found my way back to Western Australia. That's where the YouTube channel came to life and what I'm doing today. I think this is something that I'm definitely going to stick with and so much so that I've actually just made the call now to relocate from Perth to the Pilbara and I'll now be residing in Caratha full time and pursuing YouTube a little bit harder up there to hopefully turn it into a full-time thing in the not so distant future. So with all that being said, if you guys are into the outdoors, which I'm sure you are if you're checking out a Bush Rats video and you're anything like Levi and I, just take our videos as a way of motivation, like I've just said, to get you guys to keen to go outdoors do the things you love and pursue something a little bit different in life. Don't take it the wrong way with what we're doing. We just love what we do and we love sharing it with the world. And through our videos and through mine particularly, when I speak for myself, that's what I'm aiming to do with it all. And I hope I can bring that to you guys and I hope you guys enjoy this episode today. And without saying much else, let's get stuck into the fishing.
G'day guys, welcome back to Bush Rats. You're here with Young Lee and Rowan Black. You would have just seen him on the interview. Uh, so we're out here today saying goodbye to Rowan. It's his last camping trip in the southwest before he shoots off to Karatha, mate. Yep. You're going to be missed. Leaving Young Lee all on his lonesome. That's all right. We'll, we're having a YouTube off, so he, check out his YouTube channel. I'm going to put it right here. Um, does a lot of saltwater fishing, tinny bashing, and getting bogged. But today we're fresh water. We're going to get on to some uh, reddies in this episode, hopefully, and some marin too. Maybe do a bit of a cook up, spin a few yarns. We'll see how we go with all that. So, with that said, we're going to finish setting up camp and probably bring up the rods and get a line out. We'll see you soon. Yep. Alright guys, so we're just out on our first flick. Rowan's running some uh, hard body divers. Got myself a soft plastic little mini marin on, little brawler bait. We've just picked a nice little spot in the first shadows of the day on this little bank here. So we're about 100 metres from the car. Fishing this little bank here. So hope we can get onto a few. Sent a few small ones kicking around, had a couple of bites. Um, we're going to be at it all afternoon, so hopefully we can get a couple of readies. Let you know how we get on. Phew. How's the fishing out here today, mate? Slow so far. Yeah, it's too early though. There's been one smack, and I can't even guarantee it was an actual smack because it was Levi who said he got it. So <laughs> I'm just going off his word that there's at least one fish in this dam. We'll get one. I'm pretty confident we'll get one at this spot. Hopefully some marin tonight too. A few more casts, three or four. The sun's finding its way down. Bite time will be back in about an hour or two. We'll see if we can get an early one. If not, we'll get one on the old uh, dust. Otherwise, we've got some chicken in the fridge, mate. We'll cook that up. Yeah, plenty of chicken. No survival challenges out there. First fish of the day here. Oh, he's just gobbled that lure up, mate. Check that out. Look a bit silly with my GoPro on my head, but first redfin of the day. Keep it there. Ooh. How many shuckers is that one? This is a single shuck of that one. But that was on first cast on the little walk here. Uh, got a few bites. I'm hoping there's a fair few more in there. Happy days. All right, so we've been at the fishing for about two or three hours. Finally got onto one, so Rowan knows what a red fin looks like. Yeah, yeah, making sure they're a real thing. Um, we're going to keep going, keep cruising this bank, and hopefully get Rowan onto one. Mm. Let's get a line out. Yo. Not the best day's fishing, um, but that's all right. Uh, we're gonna hopefully get a fair few marin tonight, I reckon. It's a good day's fishing for Levi. You got one on the board. One, yeah, not too bad. Uh, bit of a none. I'm still yet to get back in the water myself, actually, so um, I'm under the impression I'm gonna get one before light loses itself, but we'll see how we go. Then, yeah, we're gonna throw some pellets on the bank in a second and see if we can rip into a few mazzas before the season closes out. Yep, in the meantime, we're gonna cook up a feed, uh, wait for that sun to fully disappear, and then Marinant time should be on. Yep, sure. Get on. You.
All right, got a bit of a feed happening here. Ron's just about to fire up his barbie. Sun's just going down, so we're gonna eat this, chuck a few chook pellets out, and start getting ready for some marining. Um, but it's feeling like winter's starting to come back around, eh, mate? A bit nippy. Ron's got the hoodie on. Uh, so we're just gonna smash this, get the pellets out, and we'll check back in with you soon. All right, all right, all right. All right, so uh, dinner's done, dishes are finished. Fuck it, did it again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dinner's finished, dishes are done, and it's time to go chuck out some pellets. Um, so we're gonna get the snares ready, Fairly up this whole side of the bank down here, probably get a nice 100 meter run, because there's no one else camping on this side. Um, so we're gonna chuck them out now and see if we can get into some marin in the next half hour, 45, once that sun's gone. Let's get it underway. So we've given it 15, 20, pellets have been soaking, got the snares rigged up. Oh, drop yours, mate. I've got mine as well. Bit of dow, bit of yellow wire made into a snare. Uh, but we're gonna go for an impatient check and hopefully we can get onto something first round. Yep, feeling pretty confident though. Like we said, because there was no reddies getting around, we assumed there's gonna be marin. Yeah, if you don't catch reddies, catch marin. All right. We're running, running with that. We'll see how we go. Let's have a look. Yeah. Ron's taking five more steps. Oh, did you get him? Yep, got him. Yes! Oh, this is going to be the best marinade episode we've done so far. Alright, so there's another one for the bag. We'll make sure this guy's going to be sized. Yeah, I'll grab you. Stay there, I'll grab you the gauge. And that tip. Right, there's one on the in, so he's in by about three or four mil. Happy with that, mate? Happy days, so uh, marin number two. Right, so we've got plenty more pellets to check along the bank here, and that's two for two so far, and it's pretty early into the night as well, so we have a good feeling we're gonna get loaded up on these guys tonight, which is good, and yeah, we'll get going. The most we've caught in one session so far is three, so we're almost there on 10 metre stretch. Let's Happy keep going. Days. the last spot on our first run. A couple marin in the bag so far. But we'll give another 15, 20, chuck a few more pellets out. Come back for another round. What do you reckon, mate? Sounds good to me. You can see one getting around. All right, so we've given it a good half an hour between uh, runs. So we're about to head off for our second run. Roland's got his waders ready, getting geared up, taking it real serious. Yep, I'm gonna dive in with him. But we're gonna grab the snares, weight her up, and we're gonna see how we go on the second run. Jesus. It's a stonker, bro. Out the front of the car is just producing again. Not bloody bad. The spot just here is just been getting the most marin. We've gone like about 50 metres that way, 100 metres that way, and right out the front is just absolutely killing it. That's gotta be like. That one. Easy size. That's the 80. Definitely 80. That's got to be the biggest of the night so far, eh? Check the 90. Yeah, it's over 90. Very nice. 100 mil, you reckon? Yeah. Look at the nippers on that dog. Slowly dialing in this snare work. We've, we've had a few goes on the snare, missed a couple big ones, um, but we're getting there. Three in the bag. Let's get him in the nation bag, eh? In there with your mates. Yes. Fuck yeah, that's just good fishing, mate. I don't know if it's as big as the one you just got, but... It's still bad. a good size. 
have the smaller one, the 80 here. So we're just going to go from the tip there to the back of the carapace. Here's in, it's about 90 mil. Nice. Maybe 95. Not a big one. Happy days. This guy can come off. There we go. Another nice little black marin there. Well and truly sized, another one for the bag. What's that, three, four? Fourth one now. Oh, we're well on the way. What time is it, about 11.30? 11? Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't checked the time in a long time, but we'll probably do one more run after this one, and then I think we'll probably be pretty happy with whatever we get after the, after the fact with that, but so far so good. We're pretty happy just to get these ones. This is it for me for the season. This is all I've done. This is all I will do. Coming down south for the one trip. Hey, we've got another visitor. Oh, he's getting out of the bag. <laughs> oh, there you go. Thumbnail, mate. That's how we do it out here. <laughs> Ron's going deep for this one. Snare master, mate. Another well, nice one. So, there you go. One last marin. I think we're probably, it's another male again, this one. It's getting pretty close to midnight now, so I'm pretty happy with what we got. Is that least. five or six? Yeah, five or six now. Just walk along the banks with this snare. It's done the job, these are pretty healthy marin along here. I'm sure this one's size, but we'll give it a check in a second. We'll get back over to camp, and then we'll decide if we're gonna jump into bed because it's pretty close to midnight, otherwise we might keep going. We'll have a suss in a second. Just size. He's adjusting just over the back there. So we haven't got our bag limit yet, otherwise he'd be going back, but we're gonna keep him. I think number five or six. We don't know, we'll go Cam count them. We'll get the bag. On, cameras on cameras. <laughs> yeah. Oh, not bad. So it's that one, two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty good, that's the best we've done this season. Six, got a stonker there as well, a couple stonkers. One there. Make a break away. They might hold up one or two. There we go, guys. Gonna call that a night. Six marin in the bag. Not a bad team's effort there on the snares. Yep. Red fin wasn't so good today. Nah, no red fin on the board for me. One for Levi, uh, which I would expect from him being the red fin pro. Yep. Um, but yeah, just keeps me hungry for more. I've only ever caught one in my lifetime. It's the second time I've ever fished for him, so one's not bad out of two attempts. I'm sure you'll come back for a visit. We'll get you onto someone one day. Yeah, yep. And uh, yeah, no, it's been a good day overall. We've had fun out here today, got on the Marin. Um, yeah, like I said, no redfin. Eating plenty of food, it's just been chill. It's nice to catch up and just have a nice quiet camp. Haven't done this for a while and then um, it's a bit unfortunate we won't be able to do it as much as we like, but that's all part of life, isn't it? No, it's good, good to get one last one in though. So thanks for coming along for the ride, guys. Uh, we're gonna call that a night and we will see you in the morning. Cheers. There we go guys, another little adventure, done and dusted, catching up with our boy Roland Black before he heads off up to the uh, north. The Pilbara. Yep, Barramundi and mud crab fishing coming up mate. That's the uh, idea. So if you like Roland's stuff, check check him out. Um, Roland Black, that's your, that's your YouTube, eh? I catch more fish on my channel there than I do on Levi's for sure, but yeah, Roland Black on YouTube, R-O-H-A-N. Fishing, camping, 4x4, that's me little spin. Check it out. 
So on that note, guys, like and subscribe. Uh, check out Ryan's channel. If you want some merch, bushrats.bigcartel. And we will see you next time out on the tracks. You, 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 you. Cheers, mate. Been an absolute time. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you soon.